Hello, Bethel Austin. I hope you're having an amazing day so far. It is me, Tim, my friend Elizabeth, and my friend Tristan. Um, we are here today to demystify outreach for you and to help make outreach a lifestyle over an event. And so the way that we're gonna do that is we're gonna be walking the streets here, just taking risk and showing you practical real life examples of how to do that and how to partner with Jesus in a really simple and easy way. Um, and then we're actually gonna talk you through that as well. So come and join us and uh, help us show you how to make outreach a lifestyle over an event. Let's go. Uh, there's the back of a minivan open and we just struck up a conversation with these gentlemen um, and there were two guys inside of the van um, that that we really felt like they were just open they were listening um, they what, what we were saying was pertaining to them we started getting words for them about their hearts the one guy in particular who had a family of three kids and the three of us just began to share our own personal testimonies of what we have have had breakthrough in and Tristan shared his own testimony. I didn't know God, I didn't want anything to do with God. Que él no no quería a Dios y no quería hacer nada acerca de Dios. And then one night I had a face-to-face -face encounter with Jesus. And then after presenting testimony and just a little bit about Jesus, we invited them to receive Jesus into their heart if that was something that, that they wanted. They both were open, they got out of the van, um, and so we got to lead them in a salvation prayer, and uh, it was amazing. Um, and so that was that was a, one encounter that we had, really cool. Yeah, so we kind of approached a family that was getting out of their car and just kind of chatted with them for a little bit and asked if they needed a miracle for someone in their family, and the mom said, yeah, actually my mom in Mexico needs a miracle. She has very severe epileptic um, seizures and we could use a breakthrough for her. So we started praying for her and as we started to pray, she just began to cry and you could tell God was touching her heart and she was really moved just that someone would care. And um, as soon as we saw that, like we just knew like, okay, we need to offer her if she wants wants to accept Jesus. She said, yes, I would love to accept Jesus into my heart. So she accepted Jesus into her heart. Her kids are surrounding her. She's got four kids. They're all surrounding there. And I, I introduced myself to one of the little girls and I said, what's your name? And she said, Anna. And so I pulled out my map and I was like, you know, Anna, God loves you so much that he actually showed us your name specifically on our map, like right there. Like, hours ago like we were praying for you and that's what we heard and she, and I go do you want to accept Jesus too and she's like yes I do so her and all of her siblings accepted Jesus on the spot and it was just really beautiful because something as small as just one one word of knowledge one simple little word of knowledge not even all the details of her life and it was enough to just go okay we want all in with Jesus so we didn't have crazy epic out of this world words of knowledge they're very simple yeah. very basic. down yeah <laughs> basic and in fact the ones that i was presenting at the back of that van were wrong or uh or, or shoulder the... and no one had pain in their shoulder no one had back pain no one had shoulder pain but we just stayed present and we just continued to let the love of God do its work and told these two young men about the character of God and what happened was two salvations and then later on an entire family coming to Jesus. So be encouraged, take risk, even if you get it wrong, it doesn't really matter. Like if you're doing okay. it in the heart of love, uh, it's going to be okay. Yeah, this morning I just felt like God highlighted uh, backs and um, I just saw that those young people walk by, felt like back was highlighted. So why not go for it? We chase after them, ask them if they have back pain. None of them do. Um, so I can either get discouraged in that moment or I can use it as a platform to go, well, hey, that's great to hear. Jesus loves you anyways. Hope you guys have an amazing day. And has anyone told you that Jesus loves you? Um, and they weren't interested in talking, but that's part of sowing seed and just being someone that um, 
is is ready to partner with Jesus no matter no matter where you go. Because um, I think a lot of times we get so aware of our our mos or what we're going to say or do, and we forget it's just about doing what the Father's doing. If we keep evangelism that simple and just go, Father, I I want to partner with you today, and and we forget about our scripts and and all those things which are important. We have to have that heart posture of God. It's about what you're doing first. Um, and that's what we're going to do here. We're at the Domain. We just came from the Spanish community. And, uh, and we're just going to take some risk and, uh, and bless some people and give away prophetic words and encouragement. Hopefully pray for the sick and share the gospel and see uh, what the Father's up to. So, yeah. We were in Nordstrom. And as we were walking through the store, um, a young lady got highlighted to me. Um, and so we just got together and we're like, here's our plan, let's just go and encourage her. Um, as we were chatting with her, um, I just kept seeing business over her. And so I asked her, hey, do you feel like you've had a business that you wanted to start or like kind of spearhead? And she said, yeah, actually I have. And we just kind of talked, spoke into that a little bit and just said, hey, like God's gonna bless your business. Like you should keep going after that for sure. Um, and while they were chatting with her, I just kind of, one of the other girls was highlighted um, on the other side. And so I kind of went over and just asked them, hey, does any of you guys have back pain? Because I feel like one of you guys has back pain. And the girl that was kind of to the right in front of me, Nini, she did. And so I asked her, hey, do you want that to go away? Um, the reason I ask people why, if they want it to go away is very rarely does anyone ever say they don't want their pain to go away. They might say no to prayer or they might say no to Jesus right off the bat, but they won't say no to... I want my pain to stay. <laughs> so um, she said, "She said, yeah, um, like how would that happen exactly? And so I said, it'll just take 20 seconds real quick. Kind of pulled her off to the side and asked the other girl that you guys were ministering to to kind of participate. Um, her pain started, what number did she say? Six. six. I guess at a six. And then um, we just had her put her own hand on her back and we just released Jesus. And she, we just asked her, hey, do you feel it heating up? And she's like, yeah, actually I do feel it heating up. And as it started to heat up, her pain started to lower. And first it went down to like a two, and then it went down to a zero. Her manager kind of came over just about then. So we were like, okay, we want to wrap this up. We don't want them to get in trouble or anything like that. But Hey Buffalo Austin, I hope that the video of myself, Elizabeth and Tristan out on the streets, taking risk and sharing the gospel was both encouraging and inspiring to you. If you haven't signed up to serve in our all church outreach called Engage Austin, grab your phone now and go on BethelATX.com slash EngageAustin and find a spot where you can serve in that all-church outreach.